What is going on, you guys? It is Baxter, and we are back. More Mob Psycho, Season 2, Episode 6. Let's go, man. But before we get into that, guys, if you would like to see some raw, uncut, full video, full audio of my reactions, go over to the Patreon. On top of that, subscribe to my channel, guys. Help me get to 50K. I would really appreciate it just seeing that big old 50. That would be really nice, guys. Thank you so much for the people supporting me. I hope I can get a couple more. And then on top of that, for those of you that didn't watch my last Kaiju uh, episode, episode four and five, it's a double. If you haven't seen it, you can go check that out. I explained that I am going to start doing giveaways. I do live streams every single Sunday. Before or maybe even during that live stream is when I'm going to be announcing the winner of the giveaway. In order to be able to win the giveaway, in order to be even put in the draw, you have to be a YouTube subscriber, a Discord member, and a Patreon member. And then I'm going to randomly scroll through the list, pick someone, and that's the person who wins. We'll DM each other, get the P.O. box number, all that stuff, and then uh, I can send you the prize. I'm going to start off by doing, you know, figurines, pop figures. Maybe I can send you, like, an easel or a den uh, Denjiro, or maybe even an adult Kinemon. Somebody, something like that, or, uh, you know what I mean? This is something around that nature. So I'm gonna start doing that, guys. Be part of all three of my social media outlets, and you might get lucky. Mob Psycho, episode six, season two, episode six. I have a feeling this is going to be more of a, I guess you could say, slower episode. The last episode was absolutely insane. Mob lost his shit totally in, um... I don't want to call it another dimension. In his mind, I guess. Um, fought that curse. And not only did he not go 100%, it was question marks. He exceeded every single one of his limitations to the point, like... That was unreal. Probably the... Actually, yeah, it was the best fight of the series so far that I've seen. Holy shit. So, unless it keeps up that type of hype... Which I doubt it will, which is totally fine. I wouldn't mind seeing something else though. So, let's go ahead and start this. Mob Psycho, Season 2, Episode 6. Let's go. 3, 2, 1. Four years ago. Oh, okay. This is before he became a fraud. Got his own office. Er, no, sorry. I thought that was the office. The new office room. New apartment. You can become a millionaire too. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is going to be good. To see how he, why he is in the industry that he's in in the first place. Yeah. Okay. This is going to be awesome. He's going to go to some fortune teller. And the fortune teller is going to tell him that he's got some type of... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Some type of, I don't know, special ability. Some type of special nature. That he is able to sense curses and ghosts. Even though he can't. Some, something like that. I don't know. Ah, uh, hope everyone's having a good day, though. I always hope everyone is having a good day. Decent Thursday for me. Actually, I just had finished handing out some resumes to some car dealerships. So, um, because I want to get into the sales industry. I've mentioned that before. So, hopefully I can get a call back. And then, uh, instead of driving a forklift, I can start selling cars for a living. More money. And it's just a better atmosphere, you know? I can actually talk to people instead of driving around on a fucking machine all day. So... Just hoping for the best. Hoping for a call back. So, uh, yeah. You know, I want to... 
I want a career, not a job. You know? All right. Anyways, Mob Psycho. Thirty-five push-ups. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad at all. A strong body equals a strong mind. It's his birthday. It is his birthday. <laughs> Nobody knows each other's birthday. Frozen tofu. There's going to be a mountain of that stuff on her when he hangs up the phone. Oh, I thought it was going to go out view. Stop lagging. I hate it when people sing happy birthday to me. Actually, just in general, it's so awkward as you get older. <laughs> Karaoke. You know what? I've never done karaoke in my entire life. I've been there and I've seen people do it, but I've never actually done it myself. Oh, uh, yeah. You got business. Tofu. <laughs> oh, shit! He's actually sticking up for himself. Call him back. Or else he's just not even going to go. <laughs> All done. <laughs> it's 
gonna say something like, yeah. It's kind of bringing them down right now. He is. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Oh man, there's no faith. He's got no faith in him. That me that's the way of growing up. <sighs> yeah, he will be. You will be sad. Oh, man. Yo. Some of the things Reagan is saying is like, he's being a little bit too savage. All like, to the point where he's almost happy a bit, like, kind of selfish in a way. It's like, oh, now I don't need to listen to his problems. Now I can do some work by myself and make more money. Yeah. Oh, 
Nistron, yo, Reagan's being pretty savage right now. He never said he's, oh man. I mean, Mob never said he was going to quit. He just... Yeah, now he's bored. He's got... He doesn't even have any friends. He forgot his own birthday. Zero messages from mom. Save me. Exorcism request. Holy shit. How are you doing? How's work? Remember the neighbors? Click it! You see that page? Melancholy. <laughs> He's just... <laughs> Correct. You have no rhythm. Correct. <laughs> Yo, Reagan, you're feeling lonely. Going to get some drinks. Look at this guy's bum chin. Holy shit. <laughs> Extra on this hour. Tagui no Nayamiya, Guchio Darekani Kite Moraita in Chuga. A pillow that's worth 120,000 yen? Holy shit. Yeah. 
After one drink? <laughs> he didn't put any alcohol in it. And he's puking. Yo, it's so epic, the music. <laughs> no. <laughs> this guy's got a bloody nose. Damn! Popularity, a hundred percent. One week later. Or Jodo, sorry. For now. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh damn, of course. Of course. 
Oh, man. Oh, Reagan. Everything he's doing right now is good for him, for the better cause. He's still even going out and cleaning up the city. But he's almost setting himself up for failure as well. Because obviously he's not... He doesn't have the, I guess, high enough capabilities to deal with legit... Legit... Like ghosts and curses and spirits. So if something seriously happens, he won't be able to do anything. I don't know, man. This, yeah, I don't know, man. This next episode's going to be interesting. He's going to have to call Mob out of the blue again. And Mob is probably going to say no. And somehow, somehow he's going to have to deal with this problem himself. That's what I think is going to happen. Unless it was one, another time where Mob's like, fine, I will come. Because it has shown him have, having fun with friends and going out and actually doing things. So maybe after a few days of Mob actually going out and doing that stuff, then maybe he'll come back and deal with this situation right here. But what is about to happen, I feel like Reagan is about to get fucked up really badly. Whether it's physically, mentally, he's not about to do very well. But, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to be doing some more uh, more Mob Psycho and Kaiju throughout the weekend. It's Thursday. By the time you see this, it won't be Thursday anymore. But uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, let's keep this shit going, guys. So, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in, and I will see you guys soon. Peace. I was, I was used to doing the countdown. <laughs> Peace.